Excellent. Thank you very much. Uh, I just want to say before we get started, a huge thank you to our uh, event organisers, speakers, sponsors. I think they deserve a huge round of applause, really. These guys have done... They've really done an incredible job with this event, so thank you very much. Uh, I just wanted to mention before we get started, this talk is going to be covering mental health as a topic. If that is a trigger for you, uh, please do feel free to leave now. I won't be offended. I'm a WordPress consultant. I'm a WordPress developer and agency owner. I'm a WordPress designer. I'm a WordPress builder of client websites. I'm a WordPress agency owner. I'm a WordPress designer. I am a WordPress business owner. We've built companies. We've developed technical solutions. We started from scratch. We've designed to be inclusive. We've worked from coffee shops. From co-working spaces and offices. We've supported clients. We are the WordPress community. We've hidden our fears. We've battled internally. We've hurt the ones we love. We've put on a mask. We've questioned ourselves. We've not been open. We've struggled. No one ever said it would be this hard. We've learned new skills. We've developed as individuals. We've spoken out. We've built relationships. We've moved forward. We've overcome. It's a lie to think you can't achieve this. As a member of the WordPress community, I'm speaking out. Isolation. Depression. And anxiety. Loneliness. Fear. Our community's mental health needs support. Statistically, one in six of us will experience work-related mental health issues. Because I'm self-employed. Because I'm a freelancer. Because I am a small business owner. Because I'm a remote worker. Because I'm a solo business owner. That statistic increases to one in four of us. Help us. Hashtag press forward. WP and UP are promoting and supporting positive mental health in the WordPress community. And now is the time to have an honest conversation about our mental health. Join your local WordPress meetup. Attend, volunteer or support WordCamps. I'm not alone. You're not alone. At its core, WordPress is the community. Nine years ago, I started freelancing. I discovered WordPress about 10 years ago and wanted to provide services using the software. Five years ago, I started supporting and organizing the WordPress London Meetup. It was a great opportunity for me to get involved in the community and contribute back. It was my way of giving back to the community. Four years ago, I supported my first WordCamp. If you've not been involved in WordCamps previously, highly recommend getting involved. Get on, get on as a volunteer, sign up as an organizer. They're an incredible way to integrate yourself into the community. Three years ago, I left my job as if being a freelance owner, a, a small business owner, wasn't running a, having a job, a proper job. One year ago, I sold my business. Hey, I succeeded. I'd achieved what I was looking to do, to set out to do. Nine months ago, I started working alone. To give you an idea, my, my background is in strategic business management. I've been self-employed for 21, 22 years in one form or another. I've always worked and built teams to support me. Nine months ago, I started working alone. No one ever said it would be this hard. Isolation was a major factor for me. Not having other individuals to interact with and engage with on a daily basis. If you're a solo business owner, a freelancer, a member of a distributed team, you may be able to relate with this issue. HTML, CSS, PHP, JavaScript, Photoshop, Illustrator, UX, UI, version control, DevOps, workflows, continuous integration. These were just some of the things that I needed to have a handle on, and some of the things I needed to understand as a small business owner, as an individual running the business. 
So let's throw in corporation tax, VAT, PAYE, national insurance, some other great stuff, stakeholders, expectations, project management. The list goes on of the things that I needed to understand and I needed to have some sort of grasp on. You, individually, may also be able to relate with this. I think, where do we go? What do we do? How do we manage this? Something had to change. I couldn't continue doing this on my own. No one said it would be this hard. Through the work that I've been doing with the WordPress London Meetup, I have a lot of conversations with the community, a lot of discussions with individuals. I knew that actually I wasn't the only person struggling with these issues. Please say hello to WP and Up. The idea of supporting the community was not a new concept for me. It wasn't something that was just born out of a, a, a silly idea. It was actually something that was personal. If you look back at the WPN Up uh, Twitter, you'll find that the first tweets were sent in January 2014. It had been on my heart for a long time. It was something that I wanted to bring to the community. I wanted to ensure that there was a way for small business owners, freelancers, remote workers to be able to engage and be supported and interact. But I kept putting it off, I kept putting it back. There was always another reason. I'm trying to focus on my business, I'm trying to focus on myself. Through some of the conversations I had at the back end of last year, 2017, this had to happen. Together, we can press forward. We are a community, and we're, a, we're good at being a community. But there are times when we are also very, very isolated and we do need support, and we need to reach out. To promote and support positive mental health within the WordPress community is WPN Up's mission. It's what we're looking to achieve. WPN Up is very much a community-driven project. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're providing support through what we're calling our health hubs. We have our code health, our business health, our physical health, and our mental health. To give you an idea of how this is a community project and how it is evolving very rapidly, code health has actually been switched to skills health based on conversations that have happened in the, WP, uh, the UK WP Slack team. If you're not part of that, wpslack.uk, head over and get yourself in there. As well as conversations that have happened at events such as this. So the code health, now skills health, is focusing on supporting individuals. If you are potentially struggling uh, with skills, we provide free training and education. Business health, we have free mentorship programs. We have one-to-one -one support available. If you are an individual that needs, feels you need support with your business, come and see us. Physical health, this is a big one for me. I'm not too good at it, but it's physical health is directly related to mental health. There is a direct correlation between the two. And mental health, the overarching focus of WPN Up. Again, this one is at the core for me. And if you're an individual that feels that potentially you're struggling with the issues related to isolation, depression, anxiety, or any other of the mental health related issues, please do come and have a chat with us. I want to say a big, big, big thank you to the volunteers. We've now got a team based on conversations from this weekend of 20 volunteers supporting WPN Up. That team consists of event organizers, advisors, specialists within their own individual fields, and support. So each and every individual, and there are several sitting in this room right now, I want to say a huge, huge thank you. If the things that I've touched on here have touched you, if you feel actually I could potentially do with just having a conversation, please do visit wpnup.org slash wcbtn. On there you'll find a, just a tiny little form. You can send that in anonymously. And we just want to understand if you're interested in the skills health, the, the physical health, the business health, or the mental health. 
If you're interested in getting more information, drop your details in there, completely optional. I want to say a big thank you to all of you. Thank you for your time, for listening to this. I appreciate that you have taken the time to come and listen to this subject matter. As I say, if anything I've discussed is an issue with you or you are aware of somebody potentially that is struggling, please do drop me an email or visit the site. We have the ability to contact us anonymously if you need to. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Dan. This is a wonderful initiative. Um, I'm going to be filling out that form. Do we have any questions in the room? Uh, can we get involved just by the website? Absolutely. If, uh, if you're interested in supporting WPNL, visit the site, drop in your details in, the, in our contact form, um, and we will, get you, we will find ways to, uh, to use your skills in the best way possible. We're very conscious of individuals' time within WP and UP. Um, it's something that we've wanted to ensure there's no point creating a charity that's promoting positive mental health if it's actually putting additional pressure on you as an individual, as, a, as an organiser, or as a, as a supporter, a volunteer of it. Um, so, yeah, if you're interested in supporting us, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, we're also, as I say, in the uh, WP UK Slack team, so it's another route to contact us. Uh, it's wpslack.uk if you want to get an invite in there. So yeah, we'd love to hear from you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, hi Dan, this is a charity, right? Yes, yes. So uh, how do we give you our money? <laughs> Thank you. wpnup.org slash give. <laughs> Uh, we, are, we are in the process of creating the registered charity. Uh, we don't quite have the registered charity number yet, but we are hopefully within days away from that at the moment. Um, we are requiring quite a bit of financial support to bring uh, a quality service to the community. Uh, we're in discussions with a number of large companies within the, uh, within the ecosystem already, um, but if you are interested and would like to get your brand in and support WPN Up, uh, again, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, we, so we're running events across the UK. Uh, we have an event every single week across the UK currently. Um, we're also in discussions about launching two, our first two events overseas. Um, so there are lots of opportunity to get uh, coverage. And I think one last question. Um, hi. Um, how open and how ready are you to expand outside of UK? Completely open. Um, it's, it, this is a, a global issue. It's not something that's specific to the UK by any means. Um, we, are, we already have individuals that are overseas that are part of the, um, the, the volunteer team currently. Um, and we are very open and willing to have further discussions with a much, much wider community outside the UK to support it. Cool. And if I wanted to get a mentor, because I've always wanted to have one, mm -hmm. what do I do? Do I just go on the website and... Yeah. It's out there. Head cool. to the website. So everything that we're doing is tailored for the individual. So there is no one-size-fits-all solution with WPNRP. It's a case of what is, what is the reason for you coming to us? Are, are you coming to us from an issue with your business? Are you coming to us with an issue with your skills? Are you coming to us with an issue from a mental health perspective? Do you already, already recognize that? Uh, and we will tailor a solution for you. Wonderful. Thank you, Dan. I think that's all the time we have. Mm -hmm. A round of applause. Thank, Thank you. Very you. Much.